we have an innovator, our very own uh, upcoming Elon Musk, if you you would like to say. Uh, this guy has uh, come up with uh, his very own Kenyan-made biometric attendance system. We'll get to know more about this because he has this and also other innovations that he has recently uh, also invented. So, Philip Nganda, karibu sana. Asante. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. Uh, how's your Thursday? It's it has been good. Uh -huh, so far, so good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So tell us what you do, who you are before to enter the system. Mm. As you can see over here, we have uh, the device, the devices. So he'll tell us about that in just a bit. But first, tell us who is Philip and what do you do? I'm Philip Nganda, and uh, I make uh, and sell these biometric attendance systems to schools. Mm -hmm. That's my main occupation right now okay yeah so <laughs> this tell us what this is what this is and what that is okay so mm -hmm. yeah this is a biometric attendance system and it is used by schools to send sms's to the parents whenever students arrive or leave the school premises what mm -hmm. they do is that they clock in or clock out like this and it will send an sms to the parent maybe mm -hmm. philip or so and so has been released from this school at this time Okay. So the parents get to know uh, about the time when the, their children arrive or mm -hmm. arrive at the school premises. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we can we can see that on the screen, and it's amazing. We'll get to the details of this. Yeah. Because I understand this is the. I think the very first Kenyan made biometric attendance system. Yes. Okay, so, so and we have a video of this. It can introduce. Uh, our segment, so uh, Director Cheza come away <laughs> Yes, yeah, so there you have it. You are watching Why in the Morning, hosted by Stephanie Ayeta, that is me, of course, on Y254, hashtag sport on deck. So uh, this was made uh, by Philip before, just before the show. Thank you for that, Philip. Thank you. Okay, so, so, so now no, tell us what this is and what that is okay. before to engage into matters. Okay, so this is uh, uh, an intruder detection system. Mm -hmm. uh, it detects uh, when uh, maybe an intruder enters all uh, uh, premises, mm -hmm. uh, maybe without uh, your knowledge. It mm -hmm. will send an SMS to you and it will also call you to, for you to listen uh, to to listen to what is going on in the premises. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right. And the other one. This is the prototype, the first prototype I made uh, for the biometric attendance system, and uh, it was a bit complicated. But mm -hmm. after the prototype, I went now to production. So this is the fin final product. This was mm -hmm. the first. Uh, prototype. Okay, so yeah. that was the prototype and then we have the final product yeah. there. So now <coughs> let's get into the biometric attendance system. How did you come up with this? Tell us the story behind this. And uh, okay, let me just start with how it works first. So it helps students clock in. Yeah. So if I have a, okay, if a, someone has a child yeah. in high school now that they're going back to school, yeah. their child goes to school, they clock in, and then a message is sent to the parent yeah. that their student has arrived. So yeah. this helps solve, solve the problem of truancy. Yeah. And uh, what other thing does it that, does it do apart from that? It can also be used by the schools to send other general SMSs to the parents. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to notify them of maybe a meeting on Saturday or anything. You can use the machine to send the bulk SMS to all the parents. Mm -hmm. It can also be used by the staff whereby they will be able to clock in or clock out and it will send the SMS to the maybe principal. Okay. Yeah. So it, has, <coughs> it serves three purposes. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Tell us about this. How did you come up with the biometric attendance <coughs> system? Yeah. So... Uh, I was listening to the news one day and I heard that uh, maybe I heard that uh, some girls were sitting for KCP while pregnant mm -hmm. and others were even not al arriving at the school premises on time. So I decided that uh, <coughs> I concluded that maybe if I can solve this problem, I can maybe help some parents somewhere and maybe it can also be a source of income. Uh -huh. So now it solves, uh, your technology is solving a problem, your innovation is solving a problem. Yes. Right. Okay, we, let's take a pause there. Mm. We take a short break and we come back to get more details on that. Okay. So uh, let's meet on the other side of the break.
And we are back, we are back. Today's question we are asking you, um, to, we are at TBT, Throwback Thursday. Uh, so, Nini Likwa highlight Yako school holidays when you were in high school. What was your highlight during the school holidays? Talk to us. The hashtag is Y254. Uh, the hashtag is Y in the morning at Y254 channel. Do that as we continue with this conversation that we have started about the biometric attendance system. Now, Apu Katikati, we wanted, uh, I thought, you know, how about you show us how exactly it works, uh, you know, from you putting in the fingerprint to the SMS? Okay, <clears throat> so this is how it works. Maybe the student is, is coming to the school, so mm -hmm. they will just place their figure here mm -hmm. uh, in this sensor. Uh -huh. Then it will send an SMS. It will say, Hi, Philip, welcome, okay. oh, Karibu. And then it will send us an SMS to the phone. You can see the SMS has already arrived. Oh. So this is the SMS. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it say? Philip has reached Kawi Secondary School at 808 mm -hmm. and on 28th. 04-2022. So mm -hmm. this message has already been sent to the parent mm -hmm. of Philip and it has also saved the memory card for future reference. Okay. Yeah, wow. so it has a register. So <coughs> it's uh, actually immediately. Yeah. As soon as you press yeah. uh, you clock in, it sends the message. Yeah, it can be either immediately or maybe mm -hmm. in case there are many students, it can mm -hmm. first of all save the messages as they clock in or clock out and then it will start sending the messages later when there are no other people around. Oh, so it's, it can, uh, what's the longest time it can take <coughs> to send uh, the message? Maybe it will wait for about 25 seconds, then it will start sending the messages that it had already received uh -huh. and it will send uh, to the parent Mm -hmm. uh, exactly the time when the student clocked in or clocked out. Clocked in. Yeah. Oh, okay, so okay, very quite effective. Yeah. <laughs> so now, uh, do you have a background in tech? Were you good <coughs> in maths and engineering? Tell us about that. Yeah, so I don't have a background in uh, engineering, but uh, I was interested in maybe mm. in solving problems using technology or using machines uh, when I was young, but I was very poor in maths. So you wanted to solve problems using yeah. technology. Yeah, yeah. But math ilikata. Ilikata, but <laughs> I was also a bit good in physics, uh -huh. theory part. Yeah, so ilikuwa napenda solving those problems, mm -hmm. daily problems using technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now how did you come, would you remember you were bad in mm -hmm. math? Did you study engineering? I, I tried en enrolling mm -hmm. uh, in university in a, maybe in a, mechanical engineering or electronic engineering but i failed mm -hmm. i was taught to try bridging mathematics mm -hmm. i tried bridging it and i also failed in maths Hello. so <laughs> i went back to i went and tried another uh, course. course yeah so which course did you take that is the uh, english uh, bachelor of education english literature okay and yeah. are you pursuing that size <laughs> no I'm pursuing <laughs> this right now, technology. So now you took a course that you didn't, uh, you weren't interested in, Ukamaliza. Yeah. So what happened after that? After that, I got a good job somewhere. Mm -hmm. and nikapata nikanza kuweka savings. Mm -hmm. Savings, uh, and later after the job ended, I is invested the savings in making these biometric attendance systems. So how did this idea come to your mind? Because I want to, you to take us <coughs> through that journey because yeah. maybe there's someone who has an idea or something, mm. but the implementation is the problem. So take us back. How did the idea come up? Did you have, do you see this before or did you just, was it something you wanted to build? Uh, I had not seen this before. So one day, as I just told you, as I was watching the news, I saw the problem of mm. forensic cases and uh, I did not have even have the spark to start. But uh, one day, as I, our friend, our pastor was encouraging us mm -hmm. on uh, maybe on, on focusing on, on our talents, mm -hmm. uh, he mentioned that uh, we can try something instead of maybe searching for jobs mm -hmm. uh, every uh, every year and there and mm -hmm. uh, that's when i dis i just uh, approached him and mm -hmm. i asked him about uh, maybe starting something maybe i i had the idea mm -hmm. i knew that i could do something maybe i could make a security system and i wanted to make a motorbike tracker as well as maybe uh, this biometric standard system so uh, as I was walking in a supermarket, I saw mm -hmm. somebody place a figure somewhere in the fingerprint sensor mm -hmm. and then the computer, the password 
was opened. So wow. I said that this is I, I the technology that I will use. So that's how it came about. Yeah. So you had you saw the problem. The problem yeah. was there. It was mm. truancy. Yeah. Uh, you were pushed by your pastor to do something with your hands. Yeah. And then now you walked into a supermarket. You yeah. saw someone do the finger scanner. Yeah. It's unlocked the computer. Yeah. And you're like, this is it. I could one plus one two. Yeah. So ukasema mm. utengeneze the, the, this the, biometric yeah. for yeah. for schools. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had not seen it el elsewhere, but later I, re I re came to realize that they existed. Okay. Yeah. So, what are you in existence? So, what are This, if it were up to you, you invention. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm. now uh, you have the idea, you have, you know what you want. Yeah. But do you have the knowledge of, on how to make it? Do you have background? Yeah, so I did not have the, the, uh, the knowledge. I did not even know what programming was. So I decided mm. to train myself how to program. I took a laptop. I borrowed a laptop from my friend, mm -hmm. and I start. I started. Maybe I bought some kits, some chips mm -hmm. for to, to to learn how to program. So I started. Uh, I bought a book, also a notebook, and I started learning. Maybe from online resources and mm. elsewhere, wherever I could try, I g get the, any knowledge. My goodness, that yeah. was passion. Mm. Any, you knew, me, you know how people say programming, coding, <laughs> everything is hard. Yeah. You didn't go to a school. Mm. Ukasema, I just need a laptop. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a laptop and that's how you started. Yeah. How long did you teach yourself? Uh, it took me about uh, three weeks to learn the basics. Mm -hmm. And then I started working on the project. Uh, on the biometric attendance system and within the within three months mm -hmm. it was complete i started selling the first one okay so yeah. three weeks it looks like a short time mm -hmm. but I, i'm thinking your learning was selective to yeah. what you wanted to achieve yeah so that's how you were learning after learning so you were putting it into practice yeah so when was the first prototype this is the first prototype right the first prototype the first one was uh, in a dish in mm -hmm. a milk mil dish yeah. and i think we have that uh we have the image of the first prototype in a dish which will be displayed uh on the screen later on yeah. as we go on mm. uh -huh. so that was the first prototype yeah after the p first prototype i took it to the pastor <laughs> and uh. he told me that it did not look so good mm -hmm. so i was quite discouraged I thought he did not like my idea, <laughs> but later on I tried. Me, I said that maybe he's telling me the right thing, mm -hmm. the, the, the right thing. So I went back and tried to make a, something which is more attractive, which looks like a biometric attendance. Mm -hmm. So I went and do this one. Then we, I cut it, mm -hmm. and then I we I fixed the 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 other the the components, and mm -hmm. it looks like it looked like this. Mm -hmm. I also took it back to him, and he said maybe if the edges were a bit smoother. Mm. It would be, it would be even better. look better. Mm -hmm. I was quite discouraged again, mm. and I went back, I sent the same thing, and then I came up with this one. This was uh, the final. Now this is like the current yeah. one in yeah. the market. Yeah, this is very old. This is, uh, uh -huh. this, I made this one in 2019, so it's the first one. Wow. Yeah. So you, uh, this is very interesting. You made the first prototype in a dish, yeah. a lunchbox dish. Yeah. And I wanted, to, I wanted to sell it. You like wanted that. to sell that. Yeah. So you got a uh, critic. Mm, you yeah. took it the wrong way, and then <laughs> ukasema ah, tuneza cheza cheza hapa na hi. And then you came up with this. Yeah. You kept improving, so you took the feedback positively. Yes. And now we have this. Yeah. So tell us what what do you use to make uh, this uh, gadget? Uh, yeah, as you can see, mm -hmm. uh, I just use the old wires, some laptop uh, batteries, the ones, the ones you maybe throw away. They mm -hmm. have some good parts. So I get the, the, those parts. Some are from old TVs and maybe the others are from uh, local shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, most of the things here are recycled, like especially the wires, they are recycled. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how, how long does it take you to make this? <laughs> Yeah, I can. I think I can make about three or four in a day, mm. biometric attendance systems. Okay. Do you have people, employees working for you, or do you make it yourself? How uh, is the business? For now, for now, I'm making it. My, I'm, I don't have a, a employees, but I have people who help me in marketing. They maybe come and pick some, go to sell to some schools, and they then get some commission. Commission from yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. So why why is it that you don't have people uh, helping you make them? Uh, is it because the money isn't there to pay them or is it because it's too technical 
Now, I'm, I'm looking forward to employing some people to help me in making the machines, mm -hmm. but once the market is uh, a bit big, for okay. now I can manage make maybe to, maybe if I, I get an order, I deliver it within three days. Okay, so yeah. until the ba business expands. Yeah. So tell us, uh, you know, this is something new you're bringing to the market. Yes. Now, marketing it into schools, mm. how was it? Was it easy to sell it? Okay, at first it was mm. not easy. I tried, uh, the first time I tried walking to maybe the different schools around mm -hmm. and even in my county and it was not easy because they did not believe something can be made in Kenya mm -hmm. and maybe a long la a lasting solution. So it was not easy at first. So they didn't believe in, you know, products, Kenyan products because we have Chinese products like this ones. Yes, mm -hmm. and it was uh, quite uh, cheaper, it was quite affordable. And they thought that the deal was too good to be true. <laughs> ah, yeah. isn't it? Ah, this, this deal mm. is too good to be true because yeah. it's, one is cheap, yeah. it's Kenyan, mm. and I see trust. One mm. I are Chinese. And it's portable, and very simple to use. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very portable. Yeah. And uh, how different is it from the Chinese gadget in terms of, you know, use? Yeah. This one is quite different in that uh, it does not depend on internet, it does not de depend on servers or computers to run. It runs mm -hmm. just like this and it is controlled using uh, just an SMS, a phone. Uh -huh. You control, maybe you want to send an SMS to the parents, you just send, tell it to send this SMS to these parents. It mm -hmm. will do just exactly like that. Wow, yeah. so it doesn't have an internet. So yeah. it's e uh, easy to use even for people who are machinani, who yeah, are schools yeah. that are uh, uh, in Dani where they can't access internet. Yeah. So this is, this is quite and good. And it will tra mm. even train them on how to use it. Oh, it trains? Yeah. Oh, okay, all mm. right. Yeah. So what are some of the other perks that comes with it? It's a... Uh, benefits. Mm -hmm. The benefits. Yeah, the, it's, uh, the fact that it does not e use internet, that is a benefit. Mm -hmm. It is also a bit cheaper than the others and it does not use a software. So it does not need a software to run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so once you buy it, you, you are good to go. Some of the challenges that uh, you experienced? Yeah, while marketing, because I did not have the cash, I had invested all the cash in the biometric attendance system, mm -hmm. so I did not maybe have a car to walk around with. So mm -hmm. some teachers could see me that, um, could see that um, this one does not look like uh, he is there, the one who has made the, the uh -huh. product. Oh, okay. So <laughs> they could not, th they could maybe ignore, or maybe they could think that I was a con man. But for now, that one is has been solved. You've grown yeah. past that. Oh, yeah. because when you were starting, you didn't have a lot. Yeah. So branding a quite when you So you didn't have a car to move. If you're bringing a product worth, how much is one? Uh, about 50,000 to 60,000. 50 to 60,000. Yeah. So if you're bringing us a product worth 50 to 60,000 and you're not driving a car. Yeah. I, <laughs> and, and there are no references. Road. Yeah. <laughs> and there are no previous references because yeah. this is the first product you're yes. bringing to the market. Yes. Wow. Mm. But now how is the reception from schools? Uh, now the reception is quite very good. It's very good because uh, I've been selling to maybe whichever region I go, I make sure I sell mm. some biometric attendance systems, maybe for references also, and I'm happy for that. The, the intake is very good. Okay. Yeah. And uh, something different from it, you. This was the first time you. You know, this is uh, the first time you did this. Uh, yeah. The innovation. It was new to you. Yeah. Have you thought of training other people? Are you doing that, or is it part of your plans in future? Yes, I've been training a, a group of young people, young bo boys from my area. That is mm. Mukuru Kwajenga. Wow. Uh, but there is a slight challenge we don't have enough laptops so sometimes they it is not easy mm -hmm. but i'm looking forward to training to training even more youth even in schools so mm -hmm. that maybe they can take up technology positively mm -hmm. and try their things because uh, when they see that uh, this thing can be made in kenya they will mm -hmm. be motivated i mean they do something better mm -hmm. yeah so what do you train them in exactly how to uh, operate how to in do you train them in electronics? Do you train them in programming, coding? Yes, electronics, programming, C programming. Mm. In, yeah, okay. that is the language I use, C language. All right, is it free or are you charging? Yeah, for now it's free for them. Wow, that's yeah. very noble of you. Mm, mm. Now tell us about the other products that you have apart from this. <coughs> yeah, so I also have this, uh, this tracking device. Mm -hmm. uh, it, this one will sense if uh, an intruder maybe enters a premise. 
-hmm. it will it will maybe let's say this is a, there's an intruder it will send an sms to the mm -hmm. to the maybe to the person maybe to me wherever i am mm -hmm. so it will send an sms and i'll know that an intruder has entered my premises and mm -hmm. i'll go and check so it can work uh, the same as uh, maybe a CCTV, and mm -hmm. if you have a CCTV, it will be an, an advantage. Mm -hmm. So this is a, it uses less, lesser technology. Uh, so the maybe red light. yeah, yeah, that light mm -hmm. it's lesser. So immediately someone uh, comes into your home without your knowledge, it yeah. alerts you. Yeah, it will send an SMS to you, uh -huh. and it will also try to call you. It will call you. Okay. So when you listen, you just know what is going on in that place. Oh, you hear everything going on. And yeah. So what if I have someone coming to my house and uh, so d do I have to alert it someone is coming or what? Yeah, mm. if you, can, you can also deactivate it using an SMS. Maybe mm. you want to, maybe it's in maybe night time, but you are in that premise. Mm. You, you maybe send an SMS, pause. For example, you want to pause for an hour or two mm -hmm. hours, you can pause using an SMS. Okay, yeah. wow. So when did you come up with this particular one? <coughs> so during the COVID-19 period, mm -hmm. when we were in the lockdown, I yeah. saw one of my uncles had a problem. So, no, it was a friend who had a problem. Mm -hmm. Someone had, had um, gotten into his premises mm -hmm. and maybe stolen some laptops from him. Mm -hmm. So I said, maybe if I can try solving this problem. I also saw another problem whereby some people went. Uh, stolen some musical instruments from a church okay. and I said maybe if I can solve this problem mm -hmm. maybe it will be an advantage to them. Wow and mm -hmm. what is it with you and solving problems? It, I think it's inborn. <laughs> uh, mm. And do you think that's that's the way to go uh, for you know everyone basically not even just in tech if you want to achieve you need to solve a problem and that's yeah, I think that is the best way to go if you want to maybe get something, maybe uh -huh. in technology or maybe achieve. You just try to get a, a problem, you solve it, maybe mm -hmm. using technology, and it will be an advantage to you. So what are the components of this? Uh, because I'm seeing the, the, what, the laptop charger adapter. This one? The case. Okay, this is a recycled laptop charger adapter. And as you can see, it is just a battery and mm -hmm. some components which are programmed to work like that. Mm -hmm. This one is, the, is also a prototype. Yeah. Uh, so this is the let, lesser, this is the light. If you maybe come across this right, mm -hmm. it will detect that there's a, an intruder. And, and intruder it will send an SMS. That, this is the SMS, it has already sent one. Uh -huh. uh, saying? It is saying, mm -hmm. motion has been detected here at shop three. In brackets, maybe main all. Okay. Yeah. So in case you have a CCTV, so it alerts you and then you can check uh, your CCTV yeah, to see who exactly is there. Are there future advancements that you're hoping to make in the, all of these technologies? Yes, I'm trying to add another mm -hmm. feature in this biometric attendance system whereby it will also have a face detection mm -hmm. feature whereby maybe the student will just have to show his face and it will send an SMS to the parent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. And uh, on the security system? On the security system, uh -huh. I'm, tr I'm looking forward to integrating it with the, with the CCTVs mm -hmm. so that it will also send the link for the CCTV. Okay. Yeah. If someone wants to partner with you, are you do you have any partnerships? Uh, for now, I don't have any partnerships, mm -hmm. but I'm looking forward to doing business with different people. Uh, for, both, the... for both projects or for... Yeah, I can one. maybe, for example, this one I can maybe sell maybe to a company and they resell it. Or, okay. Yeah, or, and this one I can even have partnerships, mm -hmm. as you see. And back to the biometric system, yeah. the payment you've said it's 50 to 60,000. Yes. Is it one off? Do you get uh, benefits after, you know, with the SMSs? How yeah. do you profit from it? Yeah, for now, mm -hmm. it's one off. Once you buy it, it's one off. The uh -huh. SMSs you have to subscribe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, mm. that, that's quite uh, incredible. Some of the, you, your vis vision for the future, what do you see for your company? Your comp tell us what your company is, where we can find it uh, in social media, and then your vision for the company. Yes, my company is uh, Rufid's Auto Tech Solutions, mm. and uh, I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to selling even to different countries here in Kenya and in Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different counties and countries. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to doing business. Oh. Yeah, and uh, solving more problems. And solving more problems, that yeah. is quite rec recommendable. Uh, yes. Do you have any uh, help assistance from the government from, you know, for the startups? 
uh, since I was new in this uh, in technology and such, mm -hmm. I have not uh, gained uh, inroads to the governments. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking forward to maybe getting help wherever I can get. Initially, I tried, but I failed because I could mm -hmm. not explain myself well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so now you're better at it? Yeah, I'm better. I can tell what programming is, what I've done, and I can explain better so that they can understand better. All right. Yeah. So now uh, we want you to give us tell the youth something as we come to a close yes and have you mentioned uh, your social handles again yeah so the you can get me through uh, through maybe facebook philip ganda mm -hmm. or maybe on uh, through a website rufis auto tech solutions mm -hmm. rufis.co.ke mm -hmm. yeah any word for the youth uh, yeah i can tell them that uh, if they focus on maybe solving our daily problems they'll get uh, there are a lot of solutions we can solve mm -hmm. a lot of problems we can solve mm -hmm. and from that we can get something from that from it yeah all right thank you very much for coming on board and we wish you the very best in uh, your innovation your devices yes. and continue representing us thank you we want to you know have our very own representing yeah. internationally yes all right so that has <coughs> been sport on tech with philip nganda the ceo of uh Rafids. Rufids Auto Tech Solutions. Uh, the CEO of Rufids Auto Tech Solutions, the innovator of the biometric attendance system and the security system. We take a short break and we'll be back with Val for entertainment in